My name is Amir Shalisa, I'm the president of Open Chicago. <laughs> I'd like to welcome all of you to our conference this morning, One Chicago Making an Impact. I'm happy that you can join us today, and thank you for being here. By the way, for a lot of the younger generation and older nowadays, we are live on Facebook and we are live on Twitter. But our Twitter is a little bit different than our president, so just putting it out there. <laughs> Request you to use this hashtag OpenChicago2018 and our official name for Facebook, for those of you that are Facebook gurus, is Open Chicago Official. Wow, can't be better than that. Open Chicago Official. That's our official name, just in case anybody's following. You see a lot of media, a lot of you will be streamed all over the world. This is being streamed live, all different parts of the world. There's a lot of people here from all different parts of the world itself. We have people here from Canada, we have people here from um, Pakistan, we've got people from all over the world. So it's just a great opportunity for all of us to network. We have organized an amazing program this year and have some of the most successful business entrepreneurs as keynote speakers and panelists for leaders in their field. We have His Excellency Ali Changi Siddiqui, our ambassador of Pakistan to the United States. He's our keynote speaker this morning. We have Mr. Aslam Khan, founder of Falcon Holdings, a businessman who is very well known in the community. And also we've got Mr. Raghe Hussain, Executive Vice President and Chief Strategy Officer for Marvel Technology Group. We have an Ignite session where you will hear from founders showcasing their ventures and an entrepreneurial story that will feature some of the best examples of successful startups. We have also have our own Council General of Chicago, Mr. Javed Umrani here. Welcome Mr. Javed Umrani. You will have lots of time for networking. We also have an entrepreneurial story panel that will feature some of the best examples of successful startups. All in all, this conference will be one to remember. Our vision for Open Chicago is to serve as the platform for Americans of Pakistani origin, not only in the Chicagoland area, but across the entire Midwest. In fact, we serve as a platform for all diaspora communities in our great city. We are proud of our chapter here in Chicago, a part of Open Global, that has 12 chapters across the country, actually across the world. We stand strong with our communities, working with business leaders that run companies across the world. We give the communities this platform for the connection and hope that many more success stories come out of this yearly event. I am honored and privileged to serve as the current president of Open Chicago. On behalf of our board of directors, our charter members, and our executive committee, I would like to wish all of you a great conference experience and hope that you take the learning, knowledge, and networking opportunities to get inspired, to get even more involved with Open Chicago in 2019. I would like to thank our great executive committee. I'd like to name a few people. These people put in a lot of time and effort away from their families, long hours. It takes a lot of work to organize events like this. First, uh, Aris Ahmed, our chairman. Aris, if you can please stand up. Next, Muzammal Musani, our vice president. Muzammal is at the back, somewhere. On the outside, working. Okay, I will figure. Asif Adaria, our uh, treasurer. Ed Delheim, our secretary. Rosa coordinator, Rosa Salgado, our coordinator. Baba Rathor, our sponsorship chair. We've got Hassan here, who's our uh, event specialist and marketing chair, and then we've got Nasheen Ali, Muhammad Khalid, and a lot of the young kids that you see running around, they're all our volunteers. Thank you to all of them. <laughs> I'd also like to give special thanks to Shoaib and Umair for being moderators on some of our segments. I'd also like to thank the rest of our board of directors, the Hilton Hotel, John Beers, and Robert Newbert for the outstanding support. This hotel is awesome, hopefully. Uh, there's a lot of history to this hotel, almost 91 years old. And this was one of the largest hotels in the country back in 1927. So there's a lot of history in this hotel. I would like to thank all our sponsors for the generous effort of this event. Please do stay the entire day as you will have time to network and meet our speakers as well. I wish you guys all the best and I hope that you enjoy the conference. Thank you. And now I would like to invite, first introduce Harris Emmett, our chairman of Open Chicago. He's the founder and CEO of Pragmatism, 
Consulting Group. Harris is the chairman of Open Chicago and founder and CEO of Pragmatium Consulting Group, a premier management consulting firm that advises boards and management of organizations on strategy clarification, organization design, transformational change, and leadership challenges. Harris also serves as an adjunct consulting executive with Alice Partners. With that, I'd like to bring up Harris. Good morning. Good morning. This is a uh, this is a fun role now for me. When you uh, when you've got such good people following you, who are able to take the baton and run, you're able to then step back and you know, just enjoy it from a different standpoint. Um, we need to say a few things this morning. One, uh, delighted to see so many of you who have been our members and supporters over the years. And then new faces that come in. And that's that's the lifeblood of this organization. When we set out, for those who may not be familiar, uh, this is a platform that has existed for almost 18 years. Uh, started out with just a few friends at a dorm room at MIT who thought that there was a platform like this that was missing. And look at it now. Today, we've got almost a dozen chapters in the US and around the world. And, and by far, this represents perhaps the most, the largest, and, and if you were allowed, the most influential group of uh, diaspora, uh, Pakistani diaspora community, business leaders, etc., cetera, um, under one umbrella. And to be honest with you, we haven't even figured out what to do with that yet. Uh, we do know that it is significant uh, in what it can do. And one of the things, there, there are a couple of things that we're trying to prove or disprove. And, you know, even if we've been removed from uh, the homeland by years, decades, and sometimes generations, um, we, we, we start to hear things like, well, it's very difficult for people from your part of the world to build uh, institutions. So we want to prove them wrong. We want to prove to them that we can have organizations like this that can stand on its own uh, year after year, survive uh, succession. You know, I think we, we joke about this that in, in a lot of our organizations, the, uh, the previous organization and the leaders just move on and start to sort of diss the next one. We, we've tried to stay away from all those things. We've tried to stay away from any of the, the divides and politics that comes in. We are a not-for-profit, a uh, secular organization, just trying to advance the cause. And your presence here today is, is testimony to this. So, um, you know, it also gives me great pleasure to tell you that today, as, as we are sitting here, as a couple hundred people in this great ballroom, um, colleagues of ours in Houston are also having the annual conference. And there are 400 people, I just got a tweet from someone, 400 people who've already registered at a conference just outside of Houston, the Nova Houston conference. So that just tells you about the vibrancy, uh, the global nature of what we've built. And I invite those of you who may be coming and getting to know us for the first time to uh, get engaged with this. And you will learn that it not only is, is beneficial and useful to you, uh, but in, in terms of you know, what you're trying to do or the impact that you're wanting to have in the world that gives you a platform to do so. Um, the only other thing I'll tell you is that this is, uh, you know, while we do have an amazing panel of speakers and panelists, um, this conference is really about you. So this is not a chance for you to just uh, sit back and, and listen, but it's a chance for you to uh, engage with fellow participants, uh, to learn, uh, and to push your own thinking. The idea of these conferences is that it ought to spark different ideas that ought to challenge your thinking and it ought to allow you to walk out of here with more than what you came in for. And that's sort of the whole idea and we, we tried our level best to garner this towards you and give you a whole bunch of different experiences both in terms of talks and stuff and, and um, my request to the speakers and I'll repeat this again is well, we've asked them to be very limited in their comments so that it allows you all to engage with them. I think that's, that's where learning takes place. Okay, are we ready to get started? You all have had coffee and all that good stuff? Great, awesome. All right, so I'm gonna think a couple more things. And let me just say that how um, 
this, I mean, I'm going to thank the team. This has just been a tremendous amount of work. By the way, uh, we don't get paid to do this, right? This is just a, it's a volunteer, it's a, it's a love, it's a passion thing, and I'm just amazed at the number of hours that have been put into any, any program like this. And I won't, I won't name it in case I forget some of the people, but you know, the fact that you're getting texts at 2 a.m. in the morning or 6 a.m. in the morning, that tells you that um, they believe in the mission. And, and, and really, honestly, right now there's all this revival and you'll hear from uh, the ambassador in a few minutes. Well, it's, it's wonderful that you feel excited about all the change in Pakistan, but it comes down to individuals who are making it happen. And that's what they're doing. They're saying, this is the way I want to contribute to this stuff. So I want to thank you again, all of you, for that. Amir, you've got a few other things to say? Okay, thank you. All right, at this time, I would like to introduce and ask our Council General of Pakistan. Mr. Javed Dumrani recently assumed charge of the Council General of Pakistan Chicago in September of 2018. Mr. Dumrani joined the Foreign Service of Pakistan in 1994 after his diplomatic service experience spans over 24 years at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Pakistan Missions Authority. Mr. Javed Dumrani, please come on. Thank you, Ahmed Chalisa, for your introduction, Mark. It's an honor and an immense pleasure for me to be here and participate in this very important event of the obligation of Pakistan in the videos of open. I'm not going to take your say, I'm not going to take your little bit time because a lot of intelligent, experienced, and forward-looking speakers are about to deliver lots of wisdom. <clears throat> However, I would like to say that OPEN is playing an important role in the awareness and sense of cooperation <coughs> among diverse groups of Pakistan diaspora living in the USA and UK. Your efforts have far reaching positive effects, which will certainly bring attitude of cooperation and sense of companionship in the years ahead. Open Chicago has been a success story among Pakistani American organizations in the US and as well as in Pakistan. Their efforts to promote entrepreneurship and excellence, and excellence within Pakistani diaspora in Chicago and the Middle East are commendable. I am confident that OPEN will further expand its base by encouraging more entrepreneurs, tech professionals, and students to supplement its activities and make it a more productive and effective organization to achieve its cherished. Goal. Ladies and gentlemen, Rome was not built in a day, so is true for the rest of the world. To build a strong base for overall entrepreneurial development, we need to regular conventions like today's open forum at this open day. Working individually is good. In small groups, better. However, working together in great numbers brings great rewards. Working together is key to discover depths of oceans, to reach farthest corners of the universe, and make this world a better place for our future generations. In the end, I would like to thank Open for hosting this remarkable event. We the Conflict General of Pakistan will continue working with OPEN. I wish you all success and quality time here. Thank you very much.